Based on the nature of this product, this video is for demonstration purposes. Please consult the chart shown on the screen. Make adjustments based on your individual needs. The Siemens POL224 controller can be programmed using the buttons on the front face of the controller, which is addressed in a separate video, or it can be programmed using the phone app feature, which we will address here. Note the Siemens Wi-Fi stick must be purchased separately and is required to use the phone app. The Wi-Fi stick can be removed after programming and used on other Siemens economizers. To get the app, go to the Google Play Store or Apple's App Store and download the Climatix app. If you are using Apple's iPhone, please note that the Climatix app will only work with iOS version 15 or later. Upon downloading the app, you will be presented with the login screen to continue with setup. Select Guest Access under the Sign In button. First, we click on Setup. Next, go to the Operating menu and select Climatics ECO Controller. Follow the on-screen prompt and connect the Wi-Fi stick. Hit Continue after connecting the Wi-Fi stick to the controller. The next page will ask you to connect your device to the controller's Wi-Fi network. Go to your phone's Settings menu and connect to the Siemens Wi-Fi stick network and return to the app. Pause the video now until after you have connected to the Wi-Fi and return to the app. After configuring the Wi-Fi network and returning to the app, you will be presented with the configuration page for the controller. The controller has defaults set for typical installations, though some units and some applications may require changes from the defaults. This chart shows some of the more common controller defaults. Your actual adjustments will be based on individual job-specific needs and code requirements. For this example, we are going to set up a two-speed, two-stage cooling unit with an enthalpy outside air sensor and a CO2 sensor. Some settings will stay at the default settings, but this video will show you how to access changes if needed. You will be presented with the configuration page for your controller. First, we will be configuring the thermostat. Follow the on-screen prompts to make sure your thermostat is set correctly. Click the Finish Thermostat button when done. Next is the Economizer Configuration tab. Click the corresponding button. Once inside the sub-menu, click Economizer Mode. For this demonstration, we are using a single enthalpy outside air temperature sensor. If you are using a single dry bulb outside air sensor, or a differential return sensor, you would set it here. But our example is single enthalpy. Select single enthalpy sensor. Click the icon in the top right of the screen. This will allow you to set the outside air temperature or humidity set points. The Wi-Fi stick controller knows where it is located geographically and can set the temperature and humidity set points per applicable ASHRAE climate zones. Click based on GPS location if this method is desired. Otherwise, you can set the outside air temperature and humidity manually by clicking Manual Settings. In our case, we will use the GPS location. Now, click Save Settings. Scroll down on this page and you can set the Supply Air Temperature location for either Mixed or Leaving Air Temperature. The default is LAT, which is for sensors located after the indoor coil. Leave this at the LAT default. The signal type for this sensor will always be 10K as shown. Hit Finish Economizer Mode to continue. Next is Fan Configuration. For this demonstration, we are using a two-speed fan unit, which is the controller's default setting. Units can be single, two, three, or variable speed. In this example, we are going to leave it as a two-speed unit. Save the fan configuration. Now open the Damper Actuator menu. The default is yes, which allows for fault detection signals to be sent to the controller, as required by industry codes. Confirm damper feedback is set to yes. Now in this example we have a CO2 sensor, but if we didn't, we could click the button in the top right corner. This is where we would set the minimum position outside air intake for both low and high speeds when the unit is not in free cooling mode. Note, since we have a two-speed unit, the mid-range set points will not be applicable. Click Save Settings. Now click Save Damper Actuator. The last tab in the Economizer configuration 
is the Demand Control Ventilation menu. The default setting is No, and for this example we will change it to Yes. On this screen you can set your CO2 signal type, with a default of 0 to 10 volts. Just for this example we will change it to 2 to 10 volts. You can also change your CO2 low and high range here for condition space. Now click the icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen. You can adjust the CO2 minimum and maximum positions for both low and high speed in instances where free cooling is not being used, or you can leave them at the default settings. Note the mid-range settings will not be used as we have a two-speed unit. So for this example, we will change the DCV max position at low speed from its default of 3.6 volts to 3.4 volts, and we will change DCV max at high speed from its default of 2.8 volts to 2.6 volts. Then for this example setting, the DCV minimum position at low speed from its default of 2.9 volts, and lastly changing the DCV minimum position at high speed from its default of 2.3 volts to 2.1 volts. Now click Save Settings, then click Save DCV Configuration. Click Finish Economizer Configuration. That will take you to the Auxiliary Features menu. The top tab is AUX1 O, which has a default setting for exhaust fan in the case of a power exhaust fan being used. In our example, we don't have a power exhaust fan, but leaving this setting at exhaust fan even when one is not being used will not cause any faults or system failures, therefore can always be left on. The next tab down is AUX2 O. The default setting of alarm output which will allow for a signal to be sent to a remote light or thermostat signifying that a fault has been detected on the economizer. The remote alarm feature is required by many building codes including California's Title 24. Again, this setting can be left in the on position even when a remote alarm is not being used. The next tab is AUX1-I, which provides a signal when heat is detected. The default setting is W and should be left there. AUX-AI shows that we have previously set up a CO2 sensor. Again, even if not using the exhaust or alarm, you can leave them at the default settings. Click Save Auxiliary Features. Next is the Connectivity menu. The Building Automation Connection default setting is set to BACnet. This should be left at the default setting unless you are using Modbus Communication. Now click the Finish Connectivity Configuration. Hit the Configuration Overview button to make sure all your settings are correct and confirm the setup. Now you will be required to enter the credentials on the commissioning page. The default credentials are Username, Administrator, and the Password, capital O, N, E, capital B, capital T. After signing into the controller for the first time, you will be prompted to change the password after providing these credentials. The app will take a moment while it configures the controller. Click the Connect button. The next page will allow you to review and confirm the economizer configuration. If you would like to test your damper and actuator during the commissioning process, use the Start button on the menu to run the test. For the purposes of this video, we will assume that everything is set up correctly. Hit Confirm Setup. The app will now take a moment to confirm the settings. After the app has confirmed your settings, you will be presented with a screen to save your configuration profile. If you do not want to save the configuration profile, hit Cancel. If you do want to save it, fill out the form for future reference. Save settings can be copied and reused on other Siemens economizers. Once you are done entering your information, hit Save Configuration. Your new configuration will be saved to your favorites tab of the app. Go back to the Operating Menu icon at the bottom of the page, and then hit Begin Operating. This time you will be presented with additional setup options. We are not going to do this for this example, but you can click on the button at the top right of the screen and review alarm notifications, including sensor fault alarms. 
Now click the fan speed set points. We have already shown how to set the minimum position set points if you do not have a CO2 sensor. If desired, the minimum position set points can be adjusted on this screen also. This is also where we will set the power exhaust activation set points when applicable. To monitor the thermostat, you can go to the T-STAT interface state menu, where the thermostat status will be displayed. No settings are required, but you can see for this example, we are in occupied mode and the first stage cooling is activated. Hit the back button to go back to the operating mode. Looking at the basic set points, we can monitor the economizer's different settings. Any of these settings can be adjusted here if necessary. Hit the back button to go back to the previous menu. Click on the advanced settings tab and you can review and adjust additional settings. These settings are all described in detail in the Siemens application guide and the Micrometal instructions. The fan CFM setting is not required for most applications. The next tab is the unit state, which monitors and displays the number of damper cycles, the type of economizer, as you can see, free cooling is available and being used, so the DCV is off. Now hit the back button. The IO state menu monitors and displays the current status of the economizer functions. This is for informational purposes and no settings are required. You can see that we are in economizer mode and if we did have a power exhaust, it would be activated. Hit the back button to go back to the operating mode. Our objective of setting up a two-speed unit with two-stage cooling while using an enthalpy outside air sensor is now complete. The Wi-Fi stick can now be removed from the Siemens controller and can be reused on any other micrometal economizer with a Siemens POL224 controller. That concludes the training on how to program Micrometal's new economizer with a Siemens POL224 controller using the phone app feature. The Siemens application guide and Micrometal's installation instructions are available for more detail. Thank you for watching Micrometal Academy.